The sun was setting over the sprawling metropolis of Paris, casting a golden glow on the city's iconic landmarks. The Eiffel Tower stood tall against the twilight sky, while the Seine River shimmered beneath the fading light. Tourists and locals alike were bustling through the streets, their faces filled with awe and wonder at the beauty surrounding them. Among the crowd was Anna, a young woman in her late twenties, who had come to Paris for a much-needed vacation. She had always dreamed of visiting the City of Light, with its rich history, stunning architecture, and vibrant culture. This trip was meant to be an escape from her demanding job as an advertising executive and the recent heartbreak she had endured. Anna walked through the charming streets of Montmartre, her camera in hand, capturing the enchanting scenes around her. The quaint cafés, the street artists painting masterpieces, and the sound of an accordion playing in the distance, all of it felt like a dream. As she wandered deeper into the neighborhood, she found herself lost in the maze of narrow, winding streets. Turning a corner, Anna spotted a small bookshop with a sign that read The Library du Bonheur. Intrigued, she decided to step inside. The shop was filled with the comforting scent of old books and the soft rustle of pages being turned. She browsed the shelves, losing track of time as she explored the collection of literature. As she reached for a book on a high shelf, she accidentally knocked over a stack of books. Oh no, she muttered, bending down to pick them up. Let me help you with that, a voice said from behind her. Anna looked up to see a man kneeling beside her. He was about her age, with dark hair and kind blue eyes. He wore a casual yet stylish outfit that suggested he was a local. Together, they quickly rest the books. Thank you, Anna said, brushing a strand of hair behind her ear. It's no problem at all, the man replied with a smile. I'm Lucas, by the way. Anna, she said, shaking his hand. Nice to meet you. Lucas's smile widened. Are you a tourist? Anna nodded. Yes, I arrived a few days ago. Paris has always been on my bucket list. Well, welcome to Paris, Anna. If you need any recommendations or a tour guide, I'd be happy to help. Anna hesitated for a moment, then decided to take a chance. Actually, I would love that. I was just wandering around Montmartre and got a bit lost. Lucas chuckled. Montmartre can do that to you. It's like a labyrinth. How about we grab a coffee? and I can give you some pointers on navigating the city. That sounds great, Anna agreed. They left the bookshop and walked to a nearby cafe, where they found a cozy corner table. As they sipped their coffee, Lucas shared his favorite spots in the city, from hidden gardens to lesser-known museums. Anna was captivated by his knowledge and passion for Paris. You're quite the expert, she remarked, smiling. I've lived here my whole life, Lucas replied. There's always something new to discover, no matter how long you've been here. As they continued to talk, Anna felt a connection with Lucas that she hadn't experienced in a long time. There was an ease and comfort in their conversation, as if they had known each other for years. When they finished their coffee, Lucas offered to show Anna around Montmartre. They spent the rest of the evening exploring the neighborhood, visiting the Sacre Coeur Basilica, and wandering through the charming streets. Lucas introduced Anna to local artists and took her to a hidden viewpoint with a breathtaking view of the city. 
As night fell, they found themselves at a small, intimate restaurant. The soft glow of candlelight and the sound of a violin playing in the background created a magical ambience. Over dinner, they shared stories about their lives, their dreams, and their struggles. Anna found herself opening up to Lucas in a way she hadn't with anyone else. Paris has a way of bringing people together, Lucas said softly, looking into Anna's eyes. Anna smiled, feeling a warmth spread through her chest. I'm starting to see that. After dinner, they walked along the Seine River, the city lights reflecting on the water. They stopped at a bridge, where Lucas pointed out the love locks attached to the railings. Couples attach these locks as a symbol of their love, Lucas explained. It's a tradition here in Paris. Anna looked at the locks, feeling a pang of longing. It's beautiful. Lucas turned to her, his expression serious yet tender. Anna, I'm really glad I met you today. I feel like there's something special between us. Anna's heart raced as she looked into Lucas's eyes. She felt the same way, but she was hesitant to admit it. I feel it too, Lucas. But I'm only here for a short time. What happens when I have to go back home? Lucas took her hand in his, his touch sending a jolt of electricity through her. Let's not worry about that right now. Let's just enjoy the time we have together. Anna nodded, feeling a sense of excitement and possibility. Okay. Let's make the most of it. Over the next few days, Anna and Lucas spent every moment together, exploring the city and creating unforgettable memories. They visited museums, strolled through gardens, and enjoyed picnics by the river. Lucas showed Anna the hidden gems of Paris, and in return, Anna shared her love for photography, capturing their adventures with her camera. One afternoon, as they sat in a quiet park, Lucas turned to Anna with a thoughtful expression. There's something I want to show you, he said. Anna looked at him curiously. What is it? It's a surprise. Lucas replied with a mischievous smile. Come with me. They walked hand in hand through the city until they reached a charming old building. Lucas led Anna inside and up a flight of stairs to a rooftop terrace. The view took Anna's breath away. They were overlooking the entire city, with the Eiffel Tower in the distance and the rooftops of Paris stretching out before them. This is my favorite place in the city, Lucas said softly. It's where I come to think, to dream. Anna felt a lump in her throat as she looked at the view. It's beautiful, Lucas. Thank you for sharing it with me. Lucas turned to her, his eyes filled with emotion. Anna, I know we haven't known each other for long, but I feel a connection with you that I've never felt before. I don't want this to end when you go back home. Tears welled up in Anna's eyes as she looked at Lucas. She felt the same way, but the reality of their situation was daunting. Lucas, I feel the same way. But what can we do? We live in different countries. Lucas took her hands in his, his grip firm and reassuring. We'll find a way, Anna. We'll make it work. Love knows no boundaries. Anna felt a surge of hope and determination. She knew that their love was worth fighting for. Okay, Lucas. Let's make it work. They shared a passionate kiss the city of Paris as their witness. They knew that their journey would be challenging, 
but they were ready to face it together. As Anna's trip came to an end, she and Lucas made plans to stay in touch and visit each other as often as possible. They promised to keep their love alive, no matter the distance. Back home, Anna threw herself into her work with renewed energy and inspiration. She kept in touch with Lucas through video calls and messages, their love growing stronger with each passing day. They shared their dreams and supported each other through the challenges they faced. Months passed, and Anna's work began to gain recognition. She was invited to exhibit her photography in galleries and speak at conferences. Her photos of Paris, especially the ones featuring Lucas, captured the hearts of many. One day, as Anna was preparing for a gallery opening, she received a call from Lucas. I have some news, he said, his voice filled with excitement. What is it? Anna asked, her heart racing. I've been offered a job in your city. It's an amazing opportunity, and it means we can be together, Lucas replied. Anna felt tears of joy streaming down her face. Oh, Lucas, that's wonderful. I can't believe it. Lucas chuckled. Believe it, Anna. I'm coming to be with you. The day Lucas arrived, Anna waited at the airport, her heart pounding with anticipation. When she saw him walking towards her, she ran into his arms, feeling a sense of completeness she had never known before. Welcome home, Anna whispered, her voice choked with emotion. Lucas held her close, his eyes shining with love. There's no place I'd rather be. Their reunion was filled with joy and laughter as they began to build their life together. They found a charming apartment and filled it with memories of their adventures. They continued to explore new places, always finding inspiration in each other. One evening, as they sat on their balcony, watching the sunset, Lucas turned to Anna with a serious expression. Anna, there's something I need to ask you, he said, his voice steady. Anna looked at him, her heart racing. What is it, Lucas? Lucas took a deep breath and reached into his pocket, pulling out a small velvet box. He opened it to reveal a beautiful ring. Anna, you are my heart my soul, my everything. Will you marry me? Tears of joy filled Anna's eyes as she looked at the man she loved. Yes, Lucas. Yes, I will marry you. As Lucas slipped the ring onto her finger, they shared a passionate kiss, knowing that their love had triumphed over all obstacles. They were ready to face the future together their hearts full of hope and love. Their wedding was a beautiful celebration of their journey, surrounded by friends and family who had supported them along the way. As they exchanged vows, they knew that their love story was a testament to the power of connection, the magic of Paris, and the strength of true love. Years later, as they sat on their balcony, now married and expecting their first child, Anna and Lucas often reflected on their journey. They knew that their love story was one of fate and destiny, a tale of two hearts finding each other in the most unexpected of circumstances. Their love had blossomed in the charming streets of Paris and had continued to grow, stronger with each passing day. They knew that their story was far from over, and they were ready to face whatever the future held, hand in hand. And as they watched the sunset, their hearts full of love and hope, they knew that they had found something truly special, a love that would last a lifetime.